Did you know you can actually exercise your ecstatic, sensual mind? Stick around. I'll teach you an exercise. Live trans and prosper. Hi, I'm Dr. Brian David Phillips and welcome to Exercising the Sensual Mind Ecstatic. This week is trance time. Trance time means I guide you through a short experiential trance experience. This week we're gonna stretch those erotic muscles as I guide you through an ecstatic erotic experiential trance time. Exercise. What all that means is I'm going to guide you through a brief meditation that engages the sensual mind ecstatic. Essentially, I'm going to ask you to think about erotic thoughts. Now, in this exercise, since this is a video that's on a video sharing platform, I'm not going to push it hard in terms of vocabulary or specificity simply because I know that there are going to be some viewers who are uncomfortable with certain words or phrases that I might use in a personal one-on-one -on -one session either in the therapist's office or for recreational adult consensual fun. But since there's a lot of folks out there and I don't know who's going to be watching this video or how conservative, liberal, or freaky you are in terms of sexuality or sexual vocabulary, I'm going to keep it really straight and simple. I won't be saying things like, feel that nice sensation in your genitals. Because that kind of sounds uh, a little too formal. And some folks are uncomfortable with things like, uh, and feel that really neat feeling in your vagina or penis, whichever you may have. That's way too clinical and kind of creepy. So I'm going to say something else. No, 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 no. I, I know that dude in Chicago right now is thinking, dude, talk about my hard cock. I love it when dudes talk about my hard cock. Well, I'm sure you might, may, you may very well have a, a wonderful hard cock, but I won't be talking about your hard cock because some of the people watching the video don't actually have hardness in their cock, and quite a few of them don't actually have cocks. I also won't be saying, feel the warmth and hotness in your warm, wet pussy. Ooh, feel your pussy feeling. I'm not going to talk like that because it is incredibly creepy. Also, some folks aren't really appreciative of talking about their pussy, even if they actually have one. I know some dudes enjoy the feeling of thinking about their own vagina or female sex organs, because that's something people do, and vice versa. But for this video, I'm going to keep it general. So instead of saying penis, cock, vagina, pussy, genitals, I'm going to say those special places. Now, you know that's a code, okay? That's a code for whatever you have or want to imagine you have. Alright, so when I say those special places or that special place, you know what I mean, okay? Now this is an exercise. It's actually an intensified imagination exercise. The trick for the ecstatic mind or the sensual mind or erotica trance or erotic hypnosis is to engage your expectancy so that you are certain something's going to happen. Trust me, it is. 
and you intensify your imaginative involvement. That is, imagine what I say is actually happening. Now, here's the thing. I know I'm an incredibly wonderful person, but my powers are limited. I can't force you to go into an experiential trance, an ecstatic state, or an erotic sensation. Nope. My powers just don't go there. However, I can guide you to that by saying words, phrases, and suggest, giving suggestions that I know typically work for most folks. But you need to concentrate. You need to follow the suggestions. And you need to put your imagination into it so it's as if what I ask you to imagine is actually happening. Remember when you were a kid and you didn't want to go to school? And so you told your parents or guardians, I'm sick today. Now, you know, just saying, hello, I'm sick today, isn't going to do it. So you need to be sick. And so sometimes you actually pretended to be sick so well, you kind of felt crappy while you were pretending. That's what I want you to do here. No, I don't want you to pretend you're sick or play hooky or anything. I want you to pretend that you are experiencing these feelings so well that you actually feel them. Intensify your imaginative involvement so it feels as if what you're imagining is re really happening. And then we'll get some really good stuff out of this. So, you game to go? Let's get to her. Now, in a moment, I'm going to ask you to look up. When I say look up at a spot on your wall or ceiling, I don't mean zombie eyes, okay? I don't want you looking up so high that it's kind of painful. I want you to just look up just a little bit to a spot on the wall or ceiling that pulls the eyeballs up just a little so that it's looking up as high as you can comfortably without putting a lot of stress on it. Now there's reason to this. Those who have taken my hypnosis courses know what that reason is. Uh, if you haven't taken those courses or an equivalent course from someone else, essentially that position helps folks go into trance. You may have noticed that churches or temples or holy places often have the altar or holy objects or icons or idols or whatever high and the worshipers are down low so that they're looking up. I just want a slight roll back of the eyes. Okay, So, please sit comfortably. I assume you're sitting. You can lie down if you like. I don't recommend doing this exercise while you're driving. Don't do that. It's what we call a stupid thing to do. Uh, but you can do it while lying down or sitting. Yeah, standing you can do it, but I don't recommend it. Alrighty, so sit, lie, lay, stand comfortably. Get yourself in a nice easy position. If your hands are across, please uncross them. If your legs are crossed, unlet cross them. That's just because sometimes when things get really relaxed, they tend to put pressure. And I don't want your legs or arms or hands falling asleep. And I don't even want you to fall asleep. I just want you to go into a nice whooshy feeling, a loopy feeling, well, like you do when you're daydreaming really well, or maybe when you're drunk or high. No, I'm not saying, quick, go get drunk, or go get high. No, I want you to be able to concentrate, okay? So, sit, lie, lay in a comfortable position. And I'd like you to pick a spot on the ceiling or the wall and just stare at that for a few minutes. Just breathe in. Breathe out. Keep your eyes on that spot. Breathe in. Hold it for a moment, 
and breathe out. And as you breathe out, each breath out, just allow yourself to relax as if you're going down, down, deeper down. But you're breathing in, breathing out, relaxing deep, deeper down. Keep looking at that spot, breathing in, and down, deep, deeper down. One more deep, deep breath in, all the way in. Hold it for a moment. And as you breathe out now, close your eyes now and just relax. Breathing in. Breathing out. Relax. Deep, deeper, deeply down. And relax. Breathing in. Breathing out and relax. Deep, deeper. Tell yourself that each and every breath out you take, you relax more and more. Now as you continue that breathing, I'd like you to focus and concentrate. I'd like you to imagine as if you're breathing in a sensual feeling. And as you breathe out, your body can relax, but let that sensual, erotic feeling go just like a warmth from the top of the head to the tips of the toes. Breathing in and breathing out. And as you breathe in, just let that warmth, that sensual feeling go to the special places. And that's right. You may feel it in your chest, and you may feel it further down. But just allow yourself to breathe in, breathe out, and feel that sensual feeling just for you. Really concentrate, and every single breath, imagine as if you can feel that sensual feeling. Intensify the imagination and your involvement in that imagination as if what you imagine with that sensual deep deeper deeply wonderful feeling begins to increase with each and every breath breathing in and out Deep, deeper, even more sensual. Now I'd like you to continue to breathe that sensation of sensuality, that warmth flowing through your body, particularly in those special places. And in a moment I'll begin to count. And with each number I say, I would like you to imagine as if you can double that sensual feeling. So when I say number one, that sensual sensation doubles, twice as erotic, twice as sensual. When I say number two, it's twice as sensual as number one. Number three is two times more sensual, twice double the sensations of number two and four is doubling number three and so on until ten is double the sensations of sensuality as number nine. So continue breathing in that sensuality, that erotic, that focused trance experience. One, twice as Two, even more sensually excited. Three, so warm, so wonderful, so deeply sensual. Five, double that sensation. Even more sensually excited. Six, so deep. So sensual, so wonderful. 
seven, heaven, sensual, wonderful. Eight, let my voice guide you and feel that wonderful sensation. Nine, double, double, ten, so sensual. That's right. Continue breathing in that sensual, erotic feeling. Let your imagination roam free and feel what you feel. Now in a moment, I will stop talking, just for a moment. And I'd like you to allow your imagination to go forward into a wonderful, sensual scene of your imagination your unconscious creates that's appropriate for you. As you continue breathing in that erotic sensation, let your imagination feel as if what you imagine is really happening for you. Beginning now. Sensual, erotic. Breathing, erotic. Let yourself go, feel the sensations for you. you like, you can try this exercise. Go ahead, see what happens as you relax. Anytime you like, you can endeavor to go through this exercise again, each time building upon the experience of the past so that each time you find it is easier, deeper, more profound, just for you. Each and every time more powerful just for you. That's right. It is now time to return to the here and now. In a moment, I'll count from one to three at the number three, your eyes open, you're fully alert, your head is clear, and you feel, ooh, that's nice. One, coming back to the here and now. Two, stretching, and three. Eyes open, feeling alert, head clear, feeling, ooh, that's nice. How you feel? I hope you enjoyed that activity, that exercise. Uh, anytime you like, you can go through the process again, listen to the video, or watch the video, depending upon if you're watching or listening. Uh, you don't actually have to use the video, obviously, after you've practiced a few times. It'll be very easy to just go right into that breathing, relaxing, and sensual experience. Now this is an exercise to help you practice with your sensual mind ecstatic. In September 5 and 6, 2015, I'll be in Sydney, Australia with the Sensual Mind Ecstatic Seminar. Two days of erotica trance, erotic hypnosis, and the hypnotantric ecstatic mind, the sensual mind ecstatic. Couples, singles are both welcome. Check out the web page for that particular course and join us in Sydney. It'll be well worth your time. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Every week I add a new video to the channel, so be sure to click that subscribe button so that you get notification each and every time we upload a new video. If you have questions, ask, comment on the videos, 
subscribe, and uh, maybe I'll make a video answering your questions. We have a number of programs that we periodically add videos to. For instance, there is community news and rants. Sometimes I rant about things. There's also tips, tricks, and methods where I answer your questions and talk about different methods of trance work in the ecstatic state. And of course, there's trance time when I guide you through a trance experience. Right now, I'd like you to make sure that you have subscribed so that you get those notifications. And do comment and let us know what you would like us to do for you. I make these videos for you. I really do want to help folks learn more about ecstatic states, about hypnosis, and about trance, experiential trance especially. And so if you ask me questions, I'm happy to answer as I really do want to make your life better. Help me help you by asking questions and making comments, telling us what you like about these videos. For now, though, if you haven't clicked subscribe, make sure you do. And most importantly, this is Dr. Brian David Phillips asking you to live trance and prosper. Bye-bye.